everybody! Hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, it is Monday, I guess? Yeah, it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> it's Monday, that means we're gonna be playing some Rogue Tech. I'm a little bit later than usual, and that is because my day was really full today, but in the evening, for me right now, I got some time. So let's go ahead and continue our live stream session of uh, Rogue Tech. Uh, as far as I remember, by the way, we have a lamb in this in this run and i'm very excited to outfit it today we want to try to get some better weapon systems for it and we want to want to make it the ultimate backstabber um but yeah welcome in everybody we have grub deck here as the first one on the twitch side on youtube the chat is extremely quiet nobody here on the tubes hello anybody say hi so i know that this whole youtube thing is working ah there we go nice to see you hey rg welcome in man so uh yeah in we go i would say we're gonna take a look at where we were uh, our Juanita, which is our lamb currently, uh, is nine days out of action. Okay. Gotta wait a little. But I think not too long, because we got 23 days here. Yeah, this is the funny the funny playthrough where we actually have money. The Dervish got some problems, so we'll take a look at it. It's actually Tuesday, 4 a.m. in Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> Happy Tuesday to you. Happy Tuesday. It's Monday for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what? I have money? E yeah, kind of weird, right? No eclipse here? Is there an eclipse? Uh, people were talking about eclipses. Uh, is that a thing that is happening right now? What's happening with the Wang? What, what was wrong here? Uh, oh, they changed some things around. We got holes, everybody. We need TSM to actually run a jump booster pack on the Wang. The total eclipse of your heart? Oh, what is going on? Uh, the end is nice in North America. You mean the end is near? <laughs> Performing death from above is very satisfying. It, it is, if it works. Thank you, Thorka, for the 16-month resub. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate the prime here. Thumbs up to you. The Sun Lord is angry. Oh, it's... Uh, okay. Yeah, have fun with that if you are, if you are out there. Don't stare into the into the eclipse with your bare eyes. <laughs> Hello, Cliff. How's it going? It's going quite good today. I was having a good day. Like, a real good day. We got Optics 1. So, let me see. We have no TSM. Ugh. Oh, that sucks. I want to have my jump booster. Come on, man. By taking it out, we can at the very least put another jump jet into the mech. Now we need half a ton. We have way too much ammo for all of these maggies. That's for sure. Um, there's half a ton. Sure. Wait, with that, could I actually add the advanced optics? What? Oh, we got battle computer optics already. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's go. So this is going to be our Aswang. We have a Wolvie as well. I think at some point we will drop the Irby, by the way. Is this still a April's Fool's joke when hovering over these? You can see little Irby dancing. It's just Irby? <laughs> this is cool. This is pretty cool. So, uh, let's wait for the work to be done. The question is, do we want to wait another five days for the Juanita? I would say... No, not necessarily. Let's go. Let's go. Not with the bear eyes, but with the jaguar eyes. You can do whatever you want. I'm not your mom. I'm not your dad. <laughs> I see what you're doing there. Let's play a blackout for the government against the Combine. I want to ally. I want to ally with these guys. Should I play? Man, we need a challenge, dudes. This is 53 days away. I think we have to actually go to another planet. All right. Attack and defend is a thing I cannot really do yet. No. No. Is this against the government? No, it's not. Holy crap. I don't like it. Just but over hey. three years. My how time flies. Let's Love go. The YouTube series and finally get to catch the stream. Thank you, Dr. Whoops. Thank you for the three years. Uh, appreciate it, man. Just over three years. Yeah, it's actually 38 months. Love the YouTube series of what exactly? The uh, Rogue Tech ones or in general? But thanks, man. It's much appreciated. Who was the Wang guy? Was it Braver? We have one affinity with the Cougar. Let's bring him back. I think it's fine. Okay, guys. Ready to roll? Let's drop. Rogue take all the way. Nice to hear. Nice to hear. 
Got a Warhammer and a Wolverine, which is better? Uh, I would say it depends, but technically bigger is better. So Warhammer, I'd say. Hello, Zin. And welcome, Filaroni. What's the new soda of the day? I got Birnenwasser. Mmm, lecker. So this is pear schorle. It is uh, sparkling water mixed with pear juices. That's the drink of the day. So cheers, everybody. Data transfer complete. Birne? What? Yeah, yeah. Lecker, lecker. Oh, holy crap. Started. Yeah, yeah. Some <laughs> heavy metal. <laughs> <laughs> that hype train man thank you morton gal thank you for the prime sub and we have Sirius alpha with the prime in the house as well thank you guys for the support and yeah refreshing your subscription every single month here appreciate it thank you oh man yeah it's pear it's lecker it's lecker yeah that's what it is <laughs> it's good man i like it it's very refreshing um, I like the spark, sparkly parts of it, and I am a pear fan. Whenever I, I have cider, I always try to get pear cider, because it's, for me, it's better than apple cider. It's just the thing. Really like pears. So, game is taking a lot of time to load here. Interesting. And by the way, I was sitting down for lots of recording today. <laughs> I cannot get my hands off of Goblin Stone. I think I recorded episode 32 today. Yeah, I think this is the last one that I stopped recording. And uh, it's getting interesting for all of you Goblin lovers out there. There's a new class that is unlocked. It's the Warlock. And uh, it's kind of like a self-damaging unit that I really want to explore. Ah, we got some friends, that's why. So, friendos, you're here with me. We have a Strider with double LRM, another LRM ultralight carrier, a Jenna with MMLs. These are good. And a double LRM5, dude. So, we gotta get down there somehow. Let's go. Really do wonder, can we, can we go over this rough terrain? I really hope so. Native Canadian, love all the streams and also the YouTube videos. Thanks for all the great content. Much love from Canada, much love from Germany back. Thank you for watching it. Because, you know, I always say it, without you, I, I wouldn't be here. So, thank you guys. Okay. Got a light sniper turret. Kind of hope that these are my friends. I really like the, the mech investigation. Instead of just destroying the turrets. All right. Have you seen Monster Breeder on Steam? I think the demo is still available. You get to raise and breed monsters and gladi as gladiators? Monster Breeder, you say? I'll quickly Time look it up. some rogue tech oofiness. Rogue tech. Monster Breeder. The Monster Breeder. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Looking funky. Oh, wow. That's a lot of... Oh, I think I've seen it. I, I think I've seen somebody play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This rings a bell. Uh, was it Day 9? I think Day 9 played it. Uh, I was not hyped about it, though. Okay, let's go down here and say thank you to Max the Bacon Eater. Thank you, Max. Welcome back, dude. Thank you for the 13 already. You can't wait for MechWarrior 5 clans. I mean, everybody is hyped for it, right? Is there anybody here saying, Meh, I don't want this game? It's gonna be garbage. I guess there might be some people who really don't like PGI as a company and, you know, saying, nope, not for me. But I think there's a majority of people who are like, yeah, let's go. I really hope this is like a bit more story rich and more character focused. And what I've seen so far looks pretty good. I like the new Unreal Engine and um, I like the, the look and feel, like the, the feel of the of the gameplay, I would say. Uh, you might say it doesn't look very different from what we've seen on MechWarrior 5 Mercs, but I really do like the seamless, uh, like, bird's eye view that you can use to, like, manage your lands and get them orders or give them orders. And um, it's it's looking good so far. In motion, Commander. The few minutes that we got so far. Kind of hope that they are building upon that, and that's not, like, all of it. You will miss the sandbox? Me too. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think this is a... 
a big hit on the replayability of the whole game, not being that sandboxy and more like story driven. You have that one campaign that is more or less linear with a little bit of branching, maybe side missions or something like that. And that is a problem for, again, replayability for streamers, for people like me. Manage land? No, manage your lands. The Oh, actually not lands, a star. So you're playing the clans. So you have five max per unit, which is a star instead of a lance. A lance? Could probably say lance. Dr. Whoop said, I bought the whole collection of Mac Warrior 5 Mercs on the day Solaris came out, but all the mods were broken and I haven't tried it since. A lot of people on my comments say that the mods are working again and I should try them. And I think this is a thing that we will do sometime soon. I'm already the Solaris champion for all of you who have seen the video that was coming out today. Mm hmm. And we have that kind of New Game Plus situation there now. But yeah. I think it's time to mod again. But the question is if we go back to the state that we left when the DLC came out, or if we're gonna start from scratch again. What? When did this start? At 8? How much did I miss? In like 15 minutes. Yeah, welcome in, everybody. Yeah, Filaroni, I have the same sentiment. The replayability is, I think, gonna not be comparable to MechWarrior 5 Mercs. Sandbox will come as a DLC. I hope so. I mean, this is one of the reasons why we are still playing Rogue Tech. This came out in 2018. 2018. That is more than five years ago. And because of the, the modding community and the... Like the open, go wherever you want and play missions and just build your company Moving. to like maximum whatever you like. Um, and you know, th the way is the is the goal and so on. It's it's so good. It's so replayable. Let's just go. Start new, Von Seiten Solaris 7 mod overrides the DLC arenas. <laughs> hmm, hmm, hmm. We'll see. Airbrain Schemes did such an incredible job with the game. It's one of the reasons I've started doing Villila Challenges run on. And yeah, totally. Um, it's kind of a shame that they were like, yeah, we're, we're done with this game. We are done with this franchise. We are not putting out another Battletech game because I think they could have done an incredible job again. Same with Larian Studios. They said, and I can totally understand that, they are not making another Baldur's Gate. They are not making a DLC. They are not making any expansions. They are done with the franchise. And that is honestly such a smart business decision. It's really sad for the fan base. It They did an incredible job on Baldur's Gate 3. However, with Larian, on that pedestal right now, they better use that fame that they generated and uh, concentrate on their own IPs because everybody knows who Larian Studios is now and they stand for quality and they stand for good games and uh, instead of buying the IP from um, from Hasbro, which it's probably gonna cost them millions of dollars uh, to play, uh, to, to have the D&D &D, uh, IP, uh, the license, uh, instead they can put out another Divinity or something like that. and. Uh, build their own world, make their your own universe bigger, build upon their own IP and kind of harvest the fame that they have gotten thanks to the Baldur's Gate 3 uh, craziness that is out there. And again, I understand that so much from a business perspective. It is sad though. It's really sad, man. Or if Larian would pick up this? I mean, I mean, I mean they're good role-playing game developers. A role-playing game in the Mac Warrior universe? I really feel like this is more or best played as a strategy game. They wanted to do something sci-fi related. Interesting. That's a thing I didn't hear yet. A divinity-based TTRPG. That would be also pretty cool. Yeah. Philgian, thank you for the tier one sub. Thank you for the 10 months already. Much appreciated, man. And thanks for the follows, everybody. Drift Pirate is in here and we got Rip Van. Hello. Would have been nice to get a DLC for Baldur's Gate 3 at the very least. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. By the way, what do we have here? We got a Bradford with the Thunderbolt 15. A light Thunderbolt emplacement? A sax? Condor with large chemicals and medium lasers. And a cargo trap with very suspicious cargo. Okay. We know what we want to destroy. <laughs> Let's go, Max Shots. Here we go. Hunt him, kill him. Suspicious cargo, man. Let's go. The gobbles can wait. The mecking is live. Hey, I'll come. I forgot to do this. Berserker, thank you for the prime, forgot man. Forgot to elongate the abo. <laughs> Thanks, man. Forgot to elongate. Make it longer. Make it harder. Make it faster. Is that wrong to say? Thanks. <laughs> what is this kind of emplacement here? Is it an enemy? Oh! Enemy emplacement. And the problem with our cougar is that it's so squishy. It's really squishy. These emplacements will, will power up. I guess. You would like to see another Mech Commander game? Me too. Yeah, I'm... Totally not really the most excited uh, real-time strategist. I like turn-based way more. But hey, Mech Commander was such an icon back then for me. Didn't you go to the neurologist last week? Any news? Uh, yes, I did. Um, it was just I wanted to check in um, to see if anything was wrong with the MRI. Every, everything's fine there. He looked at the images and was like, yep, yeah, everything's cool. Um, so no like, like bio problems in my head. Um, maybe a bit of chemistry stuff. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll see. And um, I was talking about him with my uh, uh, about my antidepressants with him this way around, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, it's fine. Um, you take that amount now. If you don't feel like it's doing anything, increase the dose. You can experiment a little bit, and yeah, so far it's working. Oh, I'm trying. Checks out. Brain is still there. Yep. Everything's in order." At least confirmed by a professional. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh? He was actually asking me if I I needed to get... Um, to send over to a clinic. And I'm like, eh, eh. We're gonna hold on to that for a moment. I'm not feeling that bad. But it's honestly cool that he gave me that option. That means that he has an eye for that and, you know... He cares, which is good yes. for a doctor, because sometimes, sometimes the dogs are like, yeah, whatever, whatever you need, wh what should I give you? You tell me. And uh, I have like five minutes time for you and I don't care. Got a DNI? Not yet. Not yet. Isn't, isn't Elon Musk working on something like that? A direct neural interface? He's working on cyber people, isn't it? Okay, let him move. This Braddy is running a grenade launcher. The Neuralink, yeah. <laughs> Grub duck, nice. <laughs> okay, the T bolt was going up against the Star Rider. He has one human trial coming up, or he has already done it. <laughs> We're working on cyber people since the 80s. But in the 80s, everything was super clunky. Oh, wait. 69%? Nice. We couldn't kill, though. Oh, alright. So, these emplacements are on my side. Weird. But okay. Let's end it. Let's get out of here. Pew, 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 pew. He's done it on his first patient. And what does it do? Imagine the uh, back in the days, in, in the 80s and the 90s, where you had these huge, like, virtual reality pods uh, with these, like, big cages around you and those massive headpieces. Oh, my God. And then the, 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 the very first stages of Polygon Graphic... And now, a lot of people can just sit on their sofa and, and play with an Oculus or whatever you have. 
It's just crazy how far this has come. And it's kind of interesting that it was a thing in the 90s. And then nobody cared about it. And in the in the late, what was it, 2010s, the, new, the hype rose up again into a, yeah, very stable situation that we have right now. Where, where did it go? Why does it emerge now again? It's probably because of uh, the, uh, how do you say it? Minification, microfication of technology. In the 90s, there was no way you could afford it, yeah. What do we take here? There is not a lot of good stuff. We might just want to take the Thunderbolts and some fusion cores. Oh, I'll take the T TBMs. That's all right. And the fusion core 165. <laughs> Everything else is just bad. Ah, hold up. The large chemical lasers are okay. I'll take them. And then we get uh, some Bradfords. This is actually a full Bradford IV IFV. Guys, we just won a Thunderbolt 15 on a tank. That's cool. I'll take it. So we sell armor. We sell fusion cores. That's a thing that we don't need. Gives us a bit of money. Munitions. What the hell is that? Three tons, three slots. What, what is it? Suspicious cargo? Yeah, it is a, a suicide bomb, basically. <laughs> what is this? Munitions for what? Negative 25% resistance to critical hits. This item may explode when... Oh, wait. This is something for the suspicious cargo carrier. He just has that item, so it rips it apart even more. Oh, it is an I explode harder item. I think this is what it is. Right? This item may explode when hit dealing damage with uh, within a wide area. I think it was on the on the cargo guy. We'll sell it. Alright, so we have a Thunderbolt 15 and two bins of ammo for it. It might be interesting. What, think, what do you think about a remake of Mech Warrior 3? A new systems win? To Reming Game. What do you mean, Pyotr? Make Mech Warrior 3 in new systems? To remake the game? I mean, I don't know. I cannot remember anything from Mech Warrior 3 anymore except for the start where you, where you are in the, in the uh, I think, Bushwaka. And you are on this kind of coastline. Should be a new cell UI in the mod settings, by the way. Turned off by default. Likely still experimental. Oh, interesting. Thanks, Victor. Yeah, there, there recently was an update where I had to pick some new things and I was like going through it relatively quickly. Didn't see it. Ah, it can also be used to rearm from an ammo carrier. That's right. Gotcha. Hey, Altenor. Happy Eclipse Day. <laughs> Same to you. So, Wang is down for one day. Juanita is down for five days. Do we change the planet? Do we want Whisper? No. Guys, let's be real. This planet is not particularly interesting for us. It's a two skull. Let me pump up the challenge a little bit. I want to go to a three skull. It's 26 days. Oh, it's almost a month. We got the money. It's not the biggest of deals. Hmm. I think with the stuff that we have, we might even go for four. Twenty-six, twenty-six, twenty-six. So what do we have here? A poor mining planet, prison planet, ugh. or a poor high gravity primitive civilization planet. <sighs> Water world. It says uninhabited, so no shop. That's bad. And we want to stay in the Draconis Combine. 23 days. Everything's poor here. Don't be poor. Please have money. <laughs> oh no. 
Uh, poor planets disgust me. This is okay. This is a rich rocky world. 29 days. Oh my god. So we have to spend a whole month to get there, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Let's go. A flashpoint. Uh, a flashpoint, you say? Hold up. This is not a bad thing to think about. Was it Mega City? Hey, it's fine. We're gonna find some stuff that is. Oh, okay. Um. We are currently in transit, so I think I'm gonna keep it. Um, one more thing. One more thing. The Oneta is one of our best mechs that we have right now because of massive evasion options. We are currently running a micro laser array and the streak LRM 15 clan pack. Don't think we necessarily need to change anything. Are we fine on the heat? More or less. This guy has a lot of carry capacity, so you get the optics. And a jump booster? Yeah, I cannot go with lambs. Stealth though. The extra heat is maybe gonna be a problem, but we'll see about it. We'll see. Alright, here we go. All work orders complete, ship upgrade is due in three days. We got three and a half million. Okay. Um, should we upgrade? I think the answer is yes. There's a new thing, by the way, which is called Employee of the Week, which gives us a bit more morale. Uh, but we can only get it as soon as everything is upgraded. Training modules three. Yes. Yes. Give me experience. All of it. Hello, JS. Welcome in. Good afternoon to you as well. So here's the financial report. Okay. <clears throat> Man, it's good to actually have money in this game. <laughs> what happened here? We are looking quite strong for the early, for the end of the early game, I would say. Test Floki's idea. High spirits, love it. Okay, and as soon as we arrive here, we gotta do obviously two things. First of all, visit store. Delitz. Uh huh. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Bolt on rockets, laser, blue J UAV, heat sinks, jammer. The jammer is actually good. Low tier ECM granting three shields. Nah, that's fine. High explosive bombs for the bay. I don't think we have a bay yet. No, this is fine. Hiring Hall is gonna be more interesting. Oh, there's a Rogue Take special guy. Hello. Our Anos. <laughs> Who is our Anos? <laughs> Alright. Lost Tech experience. Okay. Bit of Mech Tech. Reduce upkeep. Cool. Square peg round hole. <laughs> Plus 40 affinity granted to all chassis. Amazing. Compound chicken. We got more punch and kick damage. Plus two attacks for punches. Always destabilizes on hit. Um, excuse me? Higher? Now? Let's go. Punchy punch. Uh, there's also a bookish guy. There's Kjetil. Kjetil is wealthy. Bookish athletic ex-military. He's alright, but not exciting. I'd rather not have him. Always having the first two unlocks is sick. It is. 100%. Yeah, I want to get him into my lands directly. And I mean, we, we have a melee-based mech. We have a... Oh, wait. Our, our hatchet man is physical, not punch capable. But it's good enough anyways. So, let me go to the barracks and see what we can do with this guy. There he is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looking for some meaningful upgrades. This is a very meaningful upgrade. Let's go sensor lock, baby. Yeah, I want it so bad. Pretty good. So we have somebody that is actually capable of disabling stealth reliably on the battlefield. Hmm, happy. 
Happy is our... No, I wanted to say he's our lamb guy, but he is not. What is happy? Apart from happy. Alright. Floki is the lamb guy? Yeah, he is. I think I'm gonna give him some gunnery. There we go. Bugaboo. I hate no sensor, so we go tactics first, and then go gunnery later. Alright. So, in we go. Our f uh, first mission, actually second mission, coming up right now. I need a punch bag. I, yeah, I, I need it. 100%. What's this? Attack and defend. This might be a little bit too much to chew for the moment. Let's go with an urban battle. Ugh. Blackout in the Highlands is two and a half. It's very doable. It's also urban. I'm gonna try to stay away from the urbans for the moment because of performance reasons. Alright, two and a half. Let's go. The planetary government. In we go. So, uh, you have a lot of affinity with the Dervish already. You are already at 24. Get the missile boat unlocked. Pretty nice. Yes. OP accuracy is cool. I mean, Braver has this whole, like, recoil reduction thing. Ah, wait, ho ho hold up, hold up, there's one thing we completely forgot, and that is going to the storage, and we could build a Sarissa, which is a 50-ton mech. Funky. Is this a primitive mech? The hell is a Sarissa? I think pink background is primitive, correct? I don't want it, I don't need it, but I want is the Bradford. Let's go. Having another tank on the battlefield might be a good thing. Skulker. The scout car. One medium chemical laser. <laughs> I think I want to build it. Yeah. I'm not going to put anybody in there because it will probably get destroyed relatively quickly. It's a 20 tonner without any armor. But what we can do is we can scrap it for good money. Hell yeah. Alright. So, in we go. With the bratty. Man center. Uh, blackout. Here we go. Max salvage. And we can bring this beautiful 40 tonner. Now, who is actually capable of running this guy? Happy is. Okay, we put happy here. There's an actual point against the hatchet man. Like, what's our worst mech? Is it the Wolvie? XL engine, bunch of SRMs in mag shots. I think it's the Wolverine. So we get the lamb. We get Floki. And how do we squeeze um, our anus in there? I don't really want to keep anybody out of this. Training him is important. The 40 affinity is just fantastic, man. Huh. <sighs> I don't know, 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 I don't know. Let's deploy. Let's not overthink. It's... What, out? No. No, it's our. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Who's on the party truck? Can you put the new guy on it? No, mech only. This guy can only run mechs and nothing else. No vehicles, no VTOLs, no flying units, no, nothing. Just regular ground-based mechs. For the moment. Good evening, Simon. Hello. <laughs> I'm about 30 minutes behind on the stream, so... Hello, future you! And I wish you all the best. <laughs> Thank you, man. 
He'd be great on a tank since they have a few unlocks anyways. That's right. Yeah. That's really cool that you have the like the, the, the first two directly and then you can push towards something else. This might be a very good late game guy. And because of the the early two unlocks, he is very versatile as well. So you can slap him on any any new uh, thing that you get and you're like, yeah, sure, have this new thing. You're going to be instantly good with it. It's really nice. It's a very... How to say it? He's a specialist. Uh, actually, is he? I mean, specialist, jack of all trades. How would you say it when there is somebody who is instinctively good with something? He's an omni-pilot. Yeah, something like that. Hey, Kevin. Good day. A generalist. Yeah? Yeah, he is. More like a generalist. He knows his way around the cockpit on anything. So, there's a big loading time again. So, I assume that we might get some... So, either it's a support lance or it's gonna be a support lance for the enemy, basically. Either way, we will have company. I do like blackouts. They give you a lot of salvage in the end. But um, what I don't like sometimes, I think especially the Highland blackout, um, traversing the terrain is sometimes a, a struggle. There's a lot of dead time where you are just trying to get to the second base and it takes like eight or nine turns. Especially when when you have friends around that all take a turn as well and sometimes they think about it for a long, long time. Eh. That's the thing that I don't like about him. But in general, it's actually quite easy salvage. Let's see. Okay, so we got some... We got some supports. What? Oh, that's us. We don't have an emblem yet. I was like, why is the government? This is not the government. This is us not having an emblem. I see. I see. Let's jump around a bit. We can, so we will. Hmm. Problem is, they have a support lance somewhere. I need to scout it out. Before we get down there, we should take care of these guys, which are right up here on the high ground. Bugaboo! And then the bratty. Okay. There they are. A harasser. 12th evasion though. <laughs> Let him come to us. See what's what. Now I see why the loading is so long. The hell? Pepperbox rifle? That was a party truck. No, a mortar techie. Okay, they also have a bratty. And they also bring a light LRM carrier. That's okay. We don't get line of sight, so we wait. Let's just... Huh? Let's just reserve it. It's fine. Be careful, Commander. They have the high ground. It looks like it, huh? I got 11 evasion, and I have so much mobility to push these guys. Especially their lightly armored units are gonna be no match for my power. Let's go. That's the harasser, double MML5. It's raining, by the way. Yeah. The Wang has nothing to do. This is fine. One eight, I can probably deal with them solo. I agree. This guy is strong. Okay, that was the carrier. Good. It's time to wreck him. We can only fire indirectly, whatever we do. Mm, but it feels like. The enemies didn't move that far, which means, in return, that we can do something against them. Okay. See what we have in terms of the Thunderbolt here. 
25%. It's a faint. Let's go with the standard shot at 28. Okay, then. Uh, flare to light him up a bit. Sure. That was not so good. <laughs> How to get line of sight. Oh, this, we only have it because we are here on the high ground. Don't think we can move after shooting. Gotta jump if I want to get something done. This is a far jump. <laughs> it says I'm gonna overheat directly. So, here's the thing. Here's the deal. We gotta go in there. I will send a ping. Kabam. I mean, they didn't really move, right? So, yeah. It's not helping. Hatchetman goes up. Hmm. This is awkward. Let's stay out of the forest for a higher hit chance. I want to try to get the techie down with the missiles. Maybe it's possible. This thing doesn't have a lot of armor. Uh, not enough. It's the Thunderbolt. 30% on a Braddy. Let's stay here. Nice. Kablam. One down. Any improvement on the camp dosage? Uh, you seem kind of detached, not quite your normal self. You think so? You think so? I'm feeling like myself right now. Damn, no implants. No, we don't have them yet. Uh, we have them on our commander, so that's a thing that we can possibly try to do. Um, let me try to get the carrier here. Also 12 evasion. d &I on. Yes, thank you. Micro lasers. Ha! <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> Crazy. Disco lasers. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna try to get the party truck in there as well. And then the mag shots. Okay. The Braddy has a decent amount of armor. It's not the greatest, I just realized. That's the thing that I need to calculate into my defense as well. Should probably be careful with our 40 tonner. It's not a lot. All right. Kablam. He has a lamb? Yup. Okay. Nowhere, nowhere to go to shoot. So we hold. Wait, there's no holding? Ah, fine. Let's jump around then. And yes, we will turn on the DNI. Is this good enough? I mean, let's go. Oh god, good. Happy to have him down. Wherever I go, there is no line of sight, so we might as well stay still and try to hit whatever we can. 37%, let's go. And on the dervish, we also got a lot of ammunition now, so we shouldn't run dry at all, ever. It's not a lot of stuff to do. 30%. 43. Good hit. On the back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're playing the mortar game. There we go. Now the harasser. As soon as we have these guys down, we can instantly go down to the target zone. We are already in range. The Wang, the Hatchet Man, I think I'm gonna bring these two in because they're really good at close range fights. That's alright. Yeah. Just get down there. We are in the target zone with one mech. 
<laughs> okay, let's make sure that we don't accidentally trigger it. I want to go over here then and see if we can get the Bradford down. It's a very good hit chance into his back line. Nice. We don't have to worry about any straight pinpoint damage impacts anymore. Why are they not moving at all? This is so awkward. So even if we trigger the zone now, I'm fine with it. Welcome. Welcome. Wherever you are, thank you very much. Astra Guide, thank you. As well as plus extra. Hmm. Um. Well. 43? Sure. Flare him up. Maybe even kill him. Hey, we did it. All right. So, we can use our hatchet man to actually get in there now. This is a move and brace. And this is a jump the hell into this area. Or just sprint. Here we go. Close enough, bugaboo. Ping the garrison. Ping. Confirmed. Turrets powering up. Mm hmm. We're getting targeted. Return fire. Can do. So, we got some LRMs. We got some sniper turrets. So, what's that? AC2? Because it's a light turret. Yeah, we're gonna get it done. These are turrets, which means they are really easy to hit. They have no spawn protection. So get the... Hmm? The LRM turret down. Not enough. You hope it's not a sniper artillery. No. No, usually they don't have that here. Not in this type of difficulty rating. One down. Another LRM turret. Okay. I think the party truck can take one single-handedly. So we go go over here and try to take off the light turret, which has less armor. Max shots might be able to do it. Very good. Easy peasy. Who's left? Our melee mech. Who cannot melee? Okay. Try it. Sure. Not bad. Um, let's bring the Thunderbolt. It's kind of crazy. Oh wait, we have HE? High Explosive is here as well, baby. But let's go faint because it has more pinpoint damage. And then the machine gun afterwards. That seems good, man. Crit. There we go. If we get the party truck to the last turret, I think we have it already. Hmm. So, that's the spot. That's the spot. Let's see. 63%. Ah. Uh, that was enough. Okay. Pretty good. Turrets didn't even get to fire. Hi, Arne. Welcome, dude. Cool. So now we're gonna get up the high ground. And we will do it by just jumping around. And this is the phase that I was talking about earlier. It's a bit tedious. Jump jets certainly help here. Mm, yeah, let's just stay out of it for the moment. I want everybody to be at the very least a little bit on the high ground before we go in. Mr. Anos. Mr. Braver. Sprinting gets us further, actually. Uh, you hold. Party truck. Yeah. We gotta take those. Gotta take the road. This is fine. And again, one more hold. I think we're gonna take two more turns before we actually engage this. Because the bratty is not coming around here. We're gonna take this route into this base. Uh, can jump. But we don't have enough jump juice to get up high. Oh my god. Okay, fine then. You can, eh? This is good because we don't trigger yet. Mm hmm. And the party truck. And the bratty. So, I guess. I guess we're gonna try to get in there now. You here? 
You get in there. And we have the one Nata as well as our hatchet man to do something. The other guys are gonna fall in behind. What's to do? Ah, we gotta defend. All right, look at all of these guys. So we've got a Grim Reaper, 55 tonner with some LRM, SRM, medium poles and ER large laser situation, also AMS. Then we got a Wolverine with clan equipment. Ooh, I love to see that. The Grave Digger, also clan equipment, Streak LRM 15, ERPPC LB5X. And the Blackjack 3 with double peeps. Oh, so yeah. Uh-huh. Pretty happy to set up here somewhere. Let's go. And brace. Move and brace. Oh, scary. Party truck. Needs to be in there. Alright, so these guys want to attack the buildings. Uh, let me see if I can prevent that. Reserve, 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 reserve. All of it. This is very good salvage. This is a problem, though. Party truck got hit. Mm -mm. Reserve further, please. Not a lot we can do right now. We gotta give him the turn. Okay, building's fine. I mean, I could go down there already. We could think about sensor pinging or attacking, but yeah, the hit chance is actually pretty good. Let's take the blackjack apart. I hate the peeps right now. That's a good hit. Grim Reaper, just repositioning. Grave Digger, repositioning. No fire. So ideally I want to follow up on the damage that I've already dealt. But the hit chance is bad. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Ha, and miss. No hit on the Grave Digger, sadly. Sensor lock, perfect. Thank you very much. Ooh, a leg head. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, let's get down there. And maybe we can follow up with the autocannon. 85%. 70 on the blackjack, though. JS, thanks for the Lance Made membership on the YouTube here. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate the support, dude. Um. How many mag shots? I think we actually have like 12 or so. This is better. This is more important. I'm gonna go with the more important. We have some good hits, and we now have him unstable as well. Great. Alright. Yes. Go for the blackjack. Oh my god, JS, thank you. Gifting five memberships to the YouTubes here. Smoke Jaguar got one. Wait, I thought he was already a member. But Rouge is here, Yeva no fun, Robert Brown, as well as S. Hit Demon. <laughs> nice one. Thank you, man. So for all of you guys, you get just some, some random perks here. Uh, for example, early access to the videos um, that I'm pumping out there. Whenever I have something ready, I'm going to put it out to the members before the rest of the audience can see it. Thank you, man. Blackjack down. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. We could go for the backstrikes, but I think a side attack is better. So we can possibly go for... A legging? A legging? Can we? I'm gonna go vigilant here. Ah. Let's try. This is exactly where I wanted to be. We got the disco lasers, which will most likely tear him apart. But hey, I'm gonna try. Higgadig, higgadig, Oh, oh, he dead. Mm. Side torso destroyed. 
I don't know what exactly happened, but he's down. Let's see what we can salvage, huh? New round. Round two, fight. Sure. So the jack is on the ground, he's not really that big of a problem anymore. So we go for the wolvie. With very little effect. <laughs> huh? Is this a kill shot? I think it is. Let's go. Oh wait! Not even! Double miss on the autocannon. That was bad, man. It was really bad. Kick him. Kick him is good. If we hit. If not, we got a problem. Uh, we probably tear the autocannon 5. Huh? Will we? Why is he not... Yeah, there we go. I wanted to say. Disarmed. Alright. Bugaboo. Let's go. Multi-target would be fantastic here. And... Yeah. This guy's running XL clan engine. So even with the side also destroyed. <laughs> He's not dead, but he will thanks to the fall damage. All of this... Gone. Cat is moaning. Grim Reaper. Yeah, you know what? I think it's fair to kill this friend. So he can never even think about standing up again. And now we can go for the Grim Reaper and go for it. How do you like to streak LRMs? I was kind of hesitant, um, but I think I actually like them. For the same weight as an Inner Sphere LRM, you get something that hits way more efficient. I go High Explosive for a hit chance. We missed. Cat is not here right now. I have a love-hate relationship with the, with the streaks. Because sometimes you just want to get like one point of damage out. And the streak launcher decides that they don't get a full lock on the target. And they don't fire anything. And if you had like a regular missile launcher, there was just volume of fire and one missile might have hit where you wanted. So for these occasional situations, I don't like them. Okay, here we go. The AMS is a little nasty. Bugaboo. Is this it? Nah, not quite. But man, the heat buildup that we also have. Each laser hit is one heat. And we hit a lot. That's interesting. Let's go here with the Brad Ford. I explosive. Yeah, destabilized. Hmm? Get rid of that 5 evasion, perfect. And I actually want you to get the last hit so you get a bit more experience. Hmm? He's not gonna die, is he? It's not- Oh! Does that count? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I don't know. But hey! Mission successful. We did it! That was great. JS is building a streak 70s? Oh, what? I'll test it today. I'm guessing I'm gonna be a bit mad about it. Sometimes they don't fire. But if you have so many launchers that you get to 70 full LRMs, some of the launchers will fire and then they will fire all of them. So I think if you have just a lot of, let's say, streak 5s, it kind of mitigates the problem of some of them not firing. You know what I mean? Okay, so 600k. We did get this as a kill. That's really nice. Alright. So, 23 total. Let's see what we got. We got the Grave Digger. Hmm. Got a Clan Active Probe. Angel ECM. LBX 5. Another Streak 15. Bit of money. Not money. Uh, ammo. 
Bit of ammo. Is pickable. Pickable for the weapon systems alone. Also, we gotta keep the Grave Digger in mind. Then we got the Grim Reaper, who works in tandem with the Grave Digger. Uh, protected actuators. It's a double heatsink and an XL engine with the core as well. This thing is just really good if we want money. Augmented Thunder LRMs as well. I actually value minefields again because um, it's area denial that really works. Uh, enemies tend to not move fully in these minefields, which means they are low on evasion. It's very helpful. Okay, grenade launcher, ear medium clan, mortars, streak SRM6. Another T bolt 15. Ooh. Thunderbolt build coming. Improved fire control system, indirect fire control system. Little bit of ammo. More Thunderbolt ammo. Hmm. And two clan pulses. Yeah, it's hard. And we need to make a decision here. I think I don't need any of these mechs. The Grim Reaper has a 55 toner that I could instantly run. Just click the repair button and we got a mech. But I think we don't need to. Also doesn't show us the money. I think I'll take the Grave Digger. Wait. So if I pick it, I bypass the need of six priority picks. Because I want all of these weapons and the ammo. We also get an Angel ECM and an Active Probe. Plus the Chassis that we can sell. I think it's worth it. It also means that we have some extra picks. Um, let's disassemble everything else. <laughs> we can take more bread for it. That's good. So, what to, what to take here? Currently, we are running 4 LRM-10 on our Dervish. We could make this 2 LRM-15 instead. We miss out on 10 missiles, but we are way more weight efficient. Clan Medium Pulses, they are also great. We've got to keep that in mind. There's another T-Bolt 15. Do I have enough AMS? I currently don't have any AMS. I don't think I want to take a regular one. I don't feel like they are, like, good. La 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 la. Sensors clan. Sensor clan is... Never mind. Not great. A double bin. Hmm. LK is fine. Plus one accuracy is always appreciated. Streak SRM clan. More ammo. You know, I feel like I want to get a bit of more money... Four shots. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, we get one more random pick if I am f done with all of this. Double Thunderbolt 15 is not a bad build if we can make it happen. So I think I'm going to preemptively take this. I know we need more, more ammo for it, but let's go. That's fine. So, we have zero double heat sink. No, we have one double heat sink kit and zero XL engines. So, we're gonna sell this. We're gonna sell the heat sink kit. We're gonna keep the XL. Cool. That was totally worth it. Hello, Michael. Kinetic kill is good if you're near the max range. I think I prefer the regular one. Because you gotta manage the range with those T bolts. But I see what you're saying. Basic AMS is better than no AMS. Um, the, hmm, you could see it like that, but I don't want to waste a pick for a regular AMS here. You know what I mean? We have way more valuable stuff. I would probably pick an AMS in a different scenario, but here we needed all of these goodies. One hundred and four damage each. Okay, I can see that. Data transfer, Data transfer complete. Data transfer complete. Thank you, Nordic. Hey, Hi. How broke are you currently? Um, Again. No, 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 no. I mean, thanks to you, I'm less broke in real life. Thank you for the 60 months and the tier 2 here. And I have about 4 million C bills now. Would you look at that? I'm pretty proud of myself. All right. 
We didn't even take a lot of damage, it seems. That's pretty solid. Do we want to change anything? Alright, let me take a look at the new weapon systems that we got. Who am I? I don't know. Definitely not Barra Duel. So yeah, I think this guy is just gonna get disassembled. There's nothing that we... Nothing that we need. The Gravedigger. What's your quirk? I want to quickly see. Protected actuators. Fine. Evasion, ignore, and gunnery and crit resistance. With our new pilot in mind, we should actually look at these things. There could be something really good in there. Okay, scrap it. Giblam. LB5X. Streak LRMs. Hmm... We have a bunch of mechs that are worth it. I'm thinking about the LBX right now. The Wolverine could take it instead of these flamers and mech shots. But we also need to drop something else. This guy's currently set up for a... For a fast-moving interceptor. Wait, can you carry the jump booster pack? You can. I think it's better than the bolt-on. Yeah. You also save half a ton. Ooh, what are we doing with that? Hmm. Oh, you also got a VR pod, which means that we should definitely take you and bring you in. That's a lot of evasion that you bring to the table, my friend. Yeah, I like it. A lot. <sighs> How do we play this? Let me see if I can get half a ton of mag shot ammo. Yes, I can. It's 25 shots, so we take that over the full ton. Now we have a ton. Oh, wait, didn't we get a beagle? Oh, sorry, and an, a clan active probe. It's perfect. Bonus to sensor detection, and it counters ECM on the front line. Yeah. All right. Ready to go, baby. This guy is a bit more jumpy now as well. And I want to bring it to the battlefield. Or an angel. Oh yeah, we could have also gone for the angel. Eh, that's fine. Alright. So. With our new pilot under the belt. I think I want to take a look at the barracks. Because he might already get an upgrade. Where is he? Yeah, get the tactics up. For initiative and also for no sense or stuff. It's good that we have the probe because I want to put him on the on the Wolverine now. Cool. Where to go from here? Urban. Urban Schmurban. This is against the Draconis combine. Battle in the Highlands. Holy crap! My god! Twisted Master, thank you! <laughs> Hi Baradal, thanks for all the great content and keeping everyone entertained. Thank you man, for the five dollars. For the jump scare. Holy crap! Are you awake everybody? Gamer Kevin, subscribed on the Twitch, thank you very much for the Prime. <laughs> thank you Kevin, thank you man. Yeah, let's quickly take a look at our... our <laughs> Holy crap, man. And our company. Uh, what's our name? Our name is Hardcore. What, we need an alliteration. This is the rule for a company name. So Hardcore's something with an H. Hardcore's Handy Haversacks. Hardcore's Hammer. Howding. I don't know. Give me something. Chat. It's up to you. Hardcore's Hell. Hardcore's Hammers. Hammers is easy. Heroes. Hooligans. Oh, it's pretty good. Helpers. Oh, that's that's too kind. Hellslingers. I like Hellslingers. Hardcore's Hardshell Hammers. I think it's too long. Helldivers. Superstars. That doesn't follow the alliteration role. Maybe just Hardcore. Hardcore's Hooligans, Hotshots, Harbingers, 
haters. All right, guys, I'm gonna go with hardcore. -z. Um, harbingers. I like hellslingers. Let's go. There we go. Uh, we need something hellish. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna go black and red. That's our new company color. Let me do something like that. Uh, I hope it's good. We'll see. Something hellish? A banana? W why banana? I know that, guys, you have so many cool names there, but uh, I need to settle for one. I cannot have all of them. Alrighty then. Um, another thing I want to do is just go into another mission, right? This is where we are. Where we're going. Okay. Um, did I already pick one? Do we go for the government against the Combine? Or do we play in Urban? Okay, guys. Bit of loading time coming. Also, one more thing. One more thing here. It's gonna be Wolvie time. Wolvie gets energy damage taken reduction and company coordinator. Negative 10% company ability resolve cost. Stacks up to three times. Uh, it's not as cool as the hatchet, man. I think the Wang is not fantastic. It's okay. It has the optics. And the warfare is sweet. Dudes, we have so many good mechs. I don't know what to do here. Are you already at 20 on the Dervish? Easily, yeah, 25. So you get the missile accuracy and the evasion ignore, which is super good on you. We're gonna keep you here. I don't think the hatchet man is that great, though. I mean, you have the physical stuff, but you will most likely shoot all the time. So you take the wang. It's better, right? I clicked the button. We're going in. Let's do. Let's do it. Let's go. Did I pick an ally faction? I'm... You gotta be at, like, maximum faction reputation, correct? In order to do that? Or can you do it before that? Because right now, I'm, I think I'm friendly with the Combine. Yeah. We have the problem of having too much good stuff. First world problems, man. In an urban environment, the hatchetman could actually get into melee range. Mm. It's also kind of a shame that we don't take the urban mech in an urban environment. I think our flyer will perform well here. We can just scoot between the high buildings and take cover. It's gonna be good. Kind of mitigates the always visible above everything situation. Quickly checking something. Hmm. Okay. All right. So urban environment tends to load a little bit longer as well. Kind of weird. Guys, I was having a great day today. My day was um, very slow paced. Um, I was waking up at half past nine, which is, uh, so I slept in very, very nicely. Uh, then I did a lot of Goblin Stone recording. Um, I enjoyed uh, a little bit of outside time on the, uh, like in the garden. And then I was going for a walk. I was like, you know what? Let's just go into the town and have a nice dinner. Uh, do a little bit of shopping because I needed to get some groceries. And uh, I was spending like about two hours outside just going for a stroll. I could have taken the car or the bike, but I was like, nah, you know what? We're gonna enjoy the good weather today. And um, it really helped me. That was amazing. Sun. I'm reacting so well to it. That big fiery ball of death out there. So good. And yeah, we have a very, we have a bunch of donor places here in where I live uh, because we have a big Turkish community. And I think we have like seven or eight Doing our places. 
or kebab places uh, in 17,000 citizens. Um, and um, currently I'm trying all of them. I'm trying every single one of them right now, and I think I already have a favorite. A goblin with a PPC. A goblin with a PPC? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Because it would be hilarious. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, man. We just had the totality of the eclipse. Nice. Slowly getting back to normal. Cool. How much do we pay for a doona? Dudes, I think you can really see inflation based on the doona prices. When I was a kid, when I was like... I was a kid where I was like 15, 16. A doona was 3 euros. Now, it more than doubled. I mean, when I was 16, I was like 20, 23 years ago. <laughs> I know. But yeah, I pay 7 euros for a doona. And there was another place where the doona was not that good. Uh... And it was 750 euros, dollars, US dollars, kind of similar. Hamburg Döner is almost 9 euros. Wow. Crazy. Yeah, they're getting expensive. Experienced my first Döner when we stopped by Germany on the way back from the Middle East last year. It blew my mind. My Honestly, I think Döner is one of the healthiest fast foods that you can get. Uh, I know it's still like a bit greasy and the sauce can be very thick and fat, but um, you got you got just a bit of meat and a lot of salad as well, uh, and that kind of squeezed between uh, pita bread. It's good. Do you like the baklava from Turkish people? Uh, it's too too sweet for me. Not not mine. Not my thing. We have a bunch of Shadowhawks. This is a 2C as well. We're getting lucky with the clans. All right. So what are we playing? Battle? Let's go. Uh, we got some friends as well? Like, what? what is this? Phoenix Hawk. Disco Pistol? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Interesting. I want to get that. Disco pistol is a thing that we can put on a mech as a handheld. And I said it earlier, I love the disco weapons. They're really good. Let the party begin. Let's go. Must get. Also, best doing that costs 6 euros in Minden? That's very cheap comparatively. Also, hello Freep. Welcome in, man. Thank you very much. I just need disco AMS. That's also... Very, very good. It's a good thing to have. Ho, ho, ho. Yes. So we're gonna try to build a solidified front. Possibly getting Mr. Shadowhawk down. The Disco Laser and the Wolverine with the Flamers and the Inferno SRMs can just shut this one guy down immediately. No big problem. So, here we go. Going for the Phoenix Hawk on the other side already. Where is the Disco Pistol held? Left or right arm? Can we see it on the model? Seems like the left hand. This is a pistol, right? You say. Randall, love your work. Have Thank you, you ever had Eastern European kebabs? Just discovered lamb kebabs in the U.S. Uh, uh, uh Joe Cage, thank you, man. <laughs> Kicking off that hype, hype train here. Thank you for the seven months. Love your work. Have you ever had Eastern European kebabs? Just discovered lamb kebabs in the U.S. Uh, we were just talking about it. I didn't have, like, like, no. All I know is Döner. That is it. Minden is hinterland between Hannover and Osnabrück. Yeah, yeah, I've studied in Emden, so I, I know where this is. Kind of. Uh, I had a bunch of friends in Osnabrück. Um, I was not, not really going through there when I was using the train to go home. No, not quite. But I know this rough, the general area. We need to make sure that we are not taking off the arms of this guy. Mm hmm. Shadowhawk to see, also fantastic salvage. Dead the max shots. Let's go! Zapman, thank you! Take my Bezo box again. I appreciate that. Thanks for the prime sub. 
kicking plan? Don't think we're gonna get there in, t in time. We could try to get in the lamb. Maybe that guy is fast enough to go in for a kick. We'll check it out. Uh, get the DNI on. Got so many activatables here. Let's go. We still, we still don't see. Oh, there it is. Hey, wait. So right arm is the vibro sword. Left arm is the pistol. Then let's go for a full-on right side attack. I want to see this thing. The other question is, is it salvageable? Can we take it? Or is it fixed? It comes... The what? A medium and a large X pulse. These are our friends, by the way. We got a Maxime with 25 LRMs. We got a Tour with some MMLs. We got Filaroni gifting five subs here. Not subs. Memberships on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you, Filaroni, man. And yes, the Disco Pistol. The Pisco Disco. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, uh, yeah, kick attack. Kick attack. Kick attack. You have a lot of Thunderbolts, which is... Nah. I mean, it's fine. Uh, let me go ahead and inferno you a little bit, my friend. Can I kick you? No, I can't. <laughs> All right. Feel the heat? Yeah, we got him hot at the very least, so he should be not able to do a lot. Oh, let's see. <laughs> I did well at blackjack last night, so... Thank you. Thank you. And congrats. That's a thing that is not really easily available in Germany. But I would probably... Man. I am a player. And I would probably have a big gambling addiction if I ever went to casinos. I like... Yeah. I like the, the quick dopamine kicks. I like loot boxes. I like surprises. I like getting excited. It's just... But I know that. So I'm gonna stay away from that. It's not healthy. Not for me. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. So, our disco friend is getting out of here, huh? Fine. Have a max shot or two. Yeah, you shut down, buddy. Let's go for your face. We hit him once. We hit him once. Okay, then. The key is to know when to quit. True. And that's the tough part. This is the problem. So, obviously, we go for a good old, like, faint attack to the face. We hit side. He's still standing, though. Crazy. Mm. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. So the right side is the side that we want to attack. 25% only. <laughs> Let's not do it. It's a dumb idea. Let's hit him from the side once more. That is the Shadowhawk. I want you dead. Probably gonna get him now. You still cannot play without floaties. I also miss them. I really do miss them. Should probably enable them again. Okay, then. Disco laser. Oh. Oh, wait. 22. 30. Yeah, let's go. Mm, yeah, not quite enough. But he got a bit of heat out of that, and we are burning the forest that he's standing in, so that's good. Turn 9. Basically nothing. Alright, so we now need to just win the initiative and then we got this. Okay, Buzzard. Yeah, ugh. The camera rotation, man. Ugh. Where are we? Oh, I'm getting sick. 
Okay. So. Which Phoenix Hawk, Phoenix Hawk is which, by the way? Oh boy. That was the Disco Dude, correct? The 3D? No, no, it's a Shiv. The Shiv is the one that we want. Yeah, it is the one with the Vibra Sword and the other thing. Okie dokie. Let's go in. Comes the Dervish. He can only attack the Shadowhawk or the other Hawk. Um, let's do it. See where this is going. Hello, Ferret! Ferret Bubbling Raid! Welcome in, guys. Thank you for the raid, man. How was your day? What did you do? Thank you so much for that. <laughs> We're getting spammed here. Thank you, man. So we certainly want to stabilize our Wolverine again. So it's going to be a move and attack. And I think ideally we're going to do... I wanted to say drop some Infernos, but you know what? This Shadowhawk, it needs to go. Let's make him go. Playing in an urban environment, therefore it's a bit laggy. Couldn't quite get the 2C. Good. Ish. Hmm. Oh, perfect. Thunderbolt. Heavy machine guns. We get the knockdown. The pilot is bleeding out, it seems. Yeah, he's gonna be down to one health. Bleeding out in four rounds. Oh man, a Shadowhawk 2C. That would be fantastic. Mm. Kinda hope that he's panicking. Friends, don't destroy this thing completely. We're here for the salvage. Oh, he's stressed only. It's not gonna be enough. So now we can go for a... No, we cannot even go for a kick. Where's the arm? We want to preserve the left arm, so we go for the right arm. Or a back strike again. Okay, then. Let's do it. We are a little bit exposed as a result, but... No, no, not this guy. This guy. Uh, let's go vigilant. Cat says Mao. In the background somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting there. Um. So we got the right side. And we got him hot. <laughs> Cat is like, where is everybody? I'm alone. Please take care of me. <laughs> okay. Please overheat. Nice. Now we can take you by destroying your right flank. Yeah, I think we got this. This is your left side. This is not what I want. Oh boy. Oh boy. Slow damage. It's important. It's fine if we put fast damage on the Phoenix Hawk. To be clear. But. I want to get the Shadowhawk 2C and I want to see the Disco Laser pistol which seems to be attached to the left arm. Bad. Please don't do that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is a definitely a non-alpha strike situation. We need to hit the head once. Shoot two of these. Yeah, we hit him. We did it. We got the pilot incapacitated. Nice. Hey. Please, let me out! Data transfer complete. Do you use process lasso? What is process lasso? I honestly don't know. Fire everything! Metalhead Jensen! Thank you for the 30 months. Thank you for the prime. And welcome back. And? And? Oh! Uh, kapow! Ooh, punch out. Alrighty. It's looking great so far. 
Oh, that was bad. That was a bad idea. <laughs> I was getting into my minimum distance. But that is fine, because we can just do this and maybe get a crit on the engine or something. Yeah, that was not the greatest idea in the world. We got a kill now. Our max shots are not enough. Our mini gals rifles, basically. Yeah, fine. So we're gonna take another turn. Okay. Cat is lying down. Cool. The fact that the Bradford is getting attacked saves us a lot of um, repair time as well. Nice. Mr. Braver. Wait, where did he go? We move and shoot. Inferno, standard. Uh, let's go. You might have thought that that would have been a great idea. Getting a bit of mobility going, but hey. Meow. Can you hear it? <laughs> oh my god. Bring him down. No? What madness is this? I think it's disco time. Yeah, right from here. It could mean that he's gonna blow up big time. It also hits my Wolvie, but let's go for it. I want nothing of this Phoenix Hawk. And we still have the pilot incapacitated. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> All right. Mission, Mission successful. successful. Damn, that's a lot of max shots. Do you remember the Warthog? Warthog is, I think, an Edda, right? The legendary Edda in Mac Warrior Online. This is what we did here with the Cougar, basically. Just all the max shots in the world and go for it. It is really good at destroying battle armor because they have a higher hit chance against them and they deal also more damage against battle armor. So this is kind of our squad hunter. I thought he was coming for a death from above. No, just a repositioning. 700k. This is a full month's value here. Okay. All right, what do you want? You want the Phoenix Hawk. Uh, I, I think you can have it. Can you? Uh, I think you can have it. We will accept it. It's not the one I wanted. I wanted the shift, not the German, correct? Correct? Okay, we accept. Yes, it's the Shiv. Uh, let's see what you got. A Radical PDHS. I mean, a Brawler Gyro. Yes. Jump Booster is gone, but that's okay. Here's the Disco Pistol. <laughs> yeah, right? 96 damage. Uh-huh. It seems good. Optics Mark II as well. Partial Wing System. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I will take it if I can. There's also the Shadowhawk, which also brings a lot of goodies. Clan heatsink kit. Standard engine, though. Hmm. I like the exchanger. It's funny. But we have to disassemble that guy. Because I need the shiv. And we also probably disassemble the other Shadowhawk. Yeah, let's just go for it. So, we have two more picks. Two more picks to go with all of the stuff that we've gotten from the Shiv. You have to dance when you fire it. Ah, okay. I'll try my best. Clan Heatsink Kit. It's worth a lot of money. Ooh. I think it always is the Thermal Exchanger. I think it's just good. And we have a lot of large X-Pulse lasers in stacks. 55 damage? 
with accuracy and evasion ignore. At 33 heat. Four energy range fire control systems. I think I'm gonna say no. So there's not a lot that is needed here. There's not a lot that is interesting. A clan Ando Steel is really good, it's very efficient. And a bunch of TBM5s. Hmm. Taking the heatsink kit. And that's it. The light auto cannon? I think it's gone, right? No way, it's here still. Okay. Um technically yes, but pff, this is better. Let's go. Let's go. Heatsink, endo, and clan pharaoh. Yep. Yeah, all of this is good. But we don't have the picks. Welcome. All right. Thank you, Captain, for your message. Um, if you have anything, uh, let me know. The Inner Sphere Exchanger has more heat sinking, but I think the clan one has more uh, heat reduction, correct? It was a still a lot. Yeah, man, this, this, this run was great. I'm very happy to have the Disco Pistol, which we can put on the Wolvi, maybe? It's a five ton item. How much carry capacity do we have left? Data transfer complete. Oh boy, things are happening here. Keep up the awesome enjoyment you bring to us all. Thank you, Death Wolf. Thank you very much, man. Thanks for the eight months. Appreciate it, man. I'll try my best. A P-Hog with a shiv? Sure. <laughs> this is laughable damage. Oh. This is the, the, the benefit of having tanks around, because they can soak a little bit. So, I don't think we're gonna run this Phoenix Hawk. Ace Pilot Multi Tracker. Hmm. This is tasty. Um, what I do want is to scrap the guy. And then we need to think about who's gonna hold this weapon. Could it be the lamb? Not entirely sure. We have a handheld slot open here, and we have 11 ton carry capacity. <gasps> oh, yes. Disco pistol. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. This is exactly what we want, because our friend, the lamb, is, is able to get close enough to have the pistol shoot in optimal range basically all the time. I like it. We have a life support yeah, open. Yeah, there's nothing in there. There's a gifted sub. Thank you very much, Cage, again. Giving it to Invernus D. Thumbs up to you, man. Thank you. <laughs> the John Travolta Saturday Night Fever meme intensifies. We need a Disco AMS and, and we're good to go. Welcome. Let's do it. Um, what else was in the mech? A proto pirate heatsink kit thingy, right? Um... It is something that we could use, but there is no need for changing our builds right now because they just work. They are functional. And it is time to build something else. We got 5 million C-builds! What's wrong here? Uh, library. Gives us morale tech points and medical points. It's good. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Already complete. <laughs> Okay. Drop size. Drop size. Drop size. Everybody says drop size. I don't necessarily need it, but you're not wrong there. Yeah, we can bring more pilots to the battlefield, which means faster training. It's only one day as well. Okay, next up. And we, yeah, we have the money to do so. We should. Do we want magpie? Why not? Yeah, sure. Magpie is not bad. And I think you can get some unique uh, unique events with her. Right? There she is. She's only a tanker. And she's really bad early on. But you can train her. Uh, she comes with Merchant, Criminal, Technician and Lucky. Yeah, let's go. Magpie is free tech points, even if she's only 111. Yeah. As I said, she's good enough.
<laughs> Everyone check your wallets. It's Magpie. So, next up. Attack and defend. I don't feel ready for it. Target acquisition. Is possible. Is entirely possible. So everything that is not Draconis Combine is against the Draconis Combine. It's not that we have anything from the government against the pirates or vice versa. Ah! Actually, it's another battle. It's an urban. And we can take 3 out of 12 here. It's good enough. Let's go. We are looking for equipment mostly. Mm -hmm. And I am very excited to see what we can do with the Disco Pistol. Let's go! Don't train her in case of her events end up with her death. You mean that I shouldn't waste money on her, huh? I can't see that. Freak! Thank you. Thank you for the three months. Welcome back, dude. Nobody liking the Combine? What a surprise. I like them. And they like me. I'm gonna try to ally with them. The Disco Pistol only has 54 rounds. That means... Hold up. How many shots do you fire with one attack? Oh god. Another Lance Mate. Chris, thank you, man. <laughs> Cheers to you, man. Thank you. Welcome in. How many, how many shots do we fire? I think nine or so? Which means you can shoot five times with a pistol, but it's still amazing burst damage that you can throw out there. You say that the Clan Rock 5 is worse than the Inner Sphere in almost any, uh, every aspect? Wait, why? Slot and weight should be lower, at the very minimum. Right? She will increase her upkeep. Hmm. 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 Okay. The drink is empty. We're finally here. At the end of my bottle. At the bottom of it. What am I supposed to do now with my life? Now that my beverage is gone. Welcome. Life has no meaning anymore. Unless I drink this. Same weight, more slots? That makes no sense. More beer. I mean, that wasn't even beer. That was pear juice. Get more, move a bit. We'll see. <laughs> Annoy the kitty. Cat is sleeping now. Get rum. Mmm. Actually, I was uh, lately uh, going to a liquor store and I was buying a bunch of uh, interesting bottles that I've seen there. I still have to open a bottle of Plantation, which I'm very excited about. Um, it was like, a, I think, the 15-year-old one. So um, that's definitely on the list. It's uh, slumbering in the cabinet right now. And uh, I said in one of the last streams, I got a white uh, a white Botucal, uh, which is usually known for its um, for its darker rum. Uh, the white one was very... How to say it? It was not that sweet. It was a bit more bland. And we actually ended up putting it into... Oh god, don't tell anybody. We put Coca-Cola in it. Because otherwise it was not really great. Gin is dangerous. It can be. It can be. Plantations are good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I once had one that was um, kind of flavored with pineapple. That one was great, but I never found it again. Pineapple and rum. Works like a charm. You instantly get sent to the Caribbean. Coke and rum is a standard for crappy rum, but that was a bottle that was 40 euros. It wasn't the greatest rum. I just didn't like it. Maybe it was good rum, but I just didn't like it the way it was. And uh, so we mixed it. Still, it kind of hurt putting the 40 euro rum into a cocktail. But with the sweetness of the of the Coke, it actually kind of... It was a great combination. Command interface 
40 euro isn't expensive for all good rum no but it's a media like it's more than a captain morgan that is like what's the bottle 10 12 euros that is cocktail rum for me that is stuff that i put into coke happily the 40 euro rum is like four times the price which makes it a hurt a little bit you know i know that you can pay hundreds if you really want to heretic yeah but what can I say? Why why shove it down my throat if I don't like it the way it is? I can I can make something out of it. Oh, Ally Lance, okay. It is one of those missions. Let's spawn with them then. Sucks you wasted a 40 euro on a crappy rum. Yeah, it was an experiment. I tried. I wanted to try something new. I was kind of falling for the for the whiteness of it. Rum with Dr. Pepper is not bad. Dr. Pepper is not really a thing that we have here. So we sip it straight or on the rocks? Uh, usually straight. Usually. Government invasion is here. Alright, they're right here. So, let's use our DNI. And... Move in. How far do we want to get in there? Oh, we found a... I wish I knew the name of both the rum and the syrup. I had some rum with almond syrup for something and it was crazy good. Okay. There's a rook. And the raider. Alright, rook and raider, both medium max. Phoenix Hawk and another Raider. Oh. oh, wait. These are up armored. Interesting. So, let's go. Don't get in there, Spider. Oh, is it Decker? Is it Decker in a Spider? It's Junior Lieutenant with an Arc Welder and Fluid Gun setup. We got a Swordsman here. Sure. Auto Cannon 5, LRM 5, and two Medium Lasers. This thing is so standard and straightforward. A Vulcan and a Blue Flame. Little quad make with LBX lasers, which are not bad, by the way. I want to try something here. Let's go. Here's the P-Hawk. Okay, I'm gonna reserve this because I want to use my active probe on the Cougar. Mm -hmm. Blue flame. What are you? You have so many energy weapons. It's not even funny, man. We're gonna reserve twice more because I want the Rook to move. Sorry, the, the Raider. Dual Saw and the Rack 2. Yeah, what the hell? I mean, it's interesting what you bring to the table. I think there might be spicy loot involved. Uh, DNI on. Cannot ping with you, but we can certainly jump like crazy and brace it up. Happy go lucky. In we go. And then we have <laughs> our Anos, who is going in with a jump, that's for certain. And then we're gonna go all the way down here and use our ping. To take away their evasion. Rook is a primitive 55 toner. Builds well and is durable, but his default is kind of crappy. Good to know, thank you. He has a lot of medium lasers. Interesting. Alright, we still have the dervish. Sure. We're setting up for stray shots already, but I want to ping again. Let's go. I only see four mechs, and that means that we can possibly kill these guys without any big problems. Our Anos is in the wang. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. Uh, it's better than that than the other way around, correct? <laughs> Yo, Phil. Oh my god. Really? Better than the other way around. 
Can we attack the Rook? We can. We could. We shall. Dual Saw. Hmm. This is a melee man, correct? Let's stay a little bit away from him. Like... Like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This guy has so little armor that we can possibly just shred him. Yeah, easy. Don't even need to overheat. Watch out for melee on the radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna... I hope he is not fast enough to get me there. This is kind of what I'm hoping for. Eh. Here. This. So, we got 45 shots on the Disco Pistol, which is seemingly 11 Alpha Strikes. That's pretty good. Kill him! Disco time! <laughs> he doesn't even care. He's still alive. More Disco? Is he gonna kill my... Nah, he's gonna probably destroy my vehicle. If, if this guy is dangerous in melee, I would really do better by staying away from him. Rook down! Kaput. You say it's primitive? Explosion coming in? Yes! This is good. This is actively good for us. It's kind of bad for the Wolvie, because he was caught in the blast. But so did the Raider. Yes. No! It means that he is hot and he cannot move that far. The cat is judging me from two meters away. You know when they're just sitting there and they're looking at you in silence and they're like, Human, what are you doing? You are not taking care of me properly. I despise you. And all that you are doing there. Let me go high explosive. I wanna maybe knock him. Ah, almost. So, get knocked. So the radar is on the ground. I want to see how much health he has. Um, two out of three. Sure, seems good, man. Seems good. It means that the Phoenix Hawk is next. Yeah, I'm not even kidding you. I want the radar to stand up again so I can knock him over once more. I'm interested in his build, in his items. Icy engine, searchlight. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have let him live. There's a lot of rock to ammo. What is a dual saw? Seems to be a crappy melee item. I don't know. Okay, he's also overheating. Don't kill him completely. It's getting tough here. Uh, sure. Perfect hit chance. We'll take it. Let's go on the Phoenix a bit. Evasion ignore and the missile accuracy is just so good. He was having five evasion and now he's dead. Okay. That was a Phoenix Hawk Cobalt. Seems like a special mech. The saw is fixed, you say? Okay. Uh, then I think it's Disco Pistol time! Pisco Disco! Let's go! Ah, uh, yeah, the heat. I'll take it. It's fine. We need to cool the mech a bit more. It's not optimal yet. So many little peaky pokey holes that we put in this guy. This is it. 
Another high explosive. Let's go for center. Blammo. Uh, panicked. <laughs> Two damage? Sure. <laughs> the spider. I'm helping! Let's go, friends! <laughs> oh my god. He's overheated, so he's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna go for Mr. Raider number two. It's not a kill. Spider is running some Arc Welder shenanigans. He's a, mm, he's a melee mech. Good hits there. All right. All righty then. Uh, let's take Bugaboo, because I think he's better at attacking the other guy in the back. Let's go. Ah, smart, he turned around. He shows, shows the other cheek. Okay, we help him with his TSM, but that doesn't help him at all. God, I, I love that we have these... I wanted to say radicals, but we actually don't. We're just cooling regularly. Okay, can we get the kill here? Answer is no. As Starship Troopers, the boy... I do my part. Yeah. I should really rewatch that movie again, and then I should play Helldivers, Helldivers all day. Imagine the, L, uh, the lamb with acid MRMs and then the disco pistol. Mmm, yeah. Something that shreds armor reliably. Another one armor damage. Ah, he's oiling him. So he is taking more stability damage now? If he survives that attack. Eh, punch out. Yeah. Need a helping hand for Helldivers? Oh man. I don't dare getting into this game. Because I know it will suck me in. It will completely destroy my personal life. It's what I said earlier about gambling. Okay. I actually had a pretty big Dota addiction when I was playing it very actively. And um, that was not good for me. Not at all. I was actually actively getting into fights with my wife because I, I wouldn't go to bed uh, to bed in the in the evening. I would stay up until like three or four a.m. Um, I would not be ready for when we we are going on trips because I needed to stay in the game. There was like one more, not even one more round, but I was like locked into a game where I was like, okay, it's gonna be probably forty-five minutes to an hour, and then it was an hour, an hour and a half, and oh boy, that was not good. Drop for Super Earth. Yeah. Uh, I hear you. You had similar issues with Tarkov. Yeah. Uh, let's just cool down a bit here. We're gonna use that. There will be another drop. So, we're waiting for it. Civilization quite literally has a button on the windscreen. Just one more turn. That. Exactly that. Okay. So I kind of hope that the enemies are coming down now. Also, is this Kerensky? Who's that guy? Stalin? <laughs> uh... Hmm. Alright. Here comes the drop. Heads up, Commander. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's quite far away. Which is good and bad. Uh, we, we can get there. This is like a long alley that we can walk down. Um, and the good part is that they probably don't kill our friends. The bad part is that our friends are probably so far behind that they are not acting as meat shields for us. Doodle doop, doodle doop. Let's go. I want to get in there quickly. So we bring everybody. Ah, uh, this is why I hate urban biomes. Everything's so laggy. 
Super duper laggy. But hey, we'll get there. And I think it's only one drop after this. No, like, this is the last drop. So there won't be another one coming. We'll see. Okay. Swan to wit. Sentinel. Sentinels can be nasty. What are they running? An auto cannon 10? Huh? I think this is the the danger. We have Protomax or Battle Armor. Polemos with lots of ballistics. And then this one to wit also with lots of ballistics. So machine guns or what? What are you running there? Hmm? 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 The good news is we can reserve this. Nobody will attack us this round. There's a fire moth on the right side. Hell yeah. Plan equipment, baby. 20 ton proto squad. Micro lasers. Yo, guys, the clan game is strong in this planet. I like what I see. Um, yeah, and you know what? We got the mag shots, which are incredible against proto mags. Look at that. We deal 30 damage. Uh, it's basically double the damage that we would normally do. So, fire. Not a full wipeout, but we took one of them. Uh, is there a resource where I can see what moss from Rogue Take Baradu has active? Everything except nukes. Everything else. I don't like the, hey, surprise, I'm gonna obliterate your whole squad situation. Um, but everything else is active. Can we hit these? Uh, I mean, we got more mag shots, so sure. And these are proto mechs, you say, so they have no swarm attack. I like it. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's good. Spider. Good. Very, very good. That's a 43% chance to hit. Let's try to get the Cicerops out. Like, out, out. Please, thank you. <laughs> Down to one unit in the squad. Alright, alright, alright. So, Floki and the Disco Pistol, he could do it. But I believe the Disco Pistol needs to go somewhere else. Let's be real. The Disco Lasers can take it, sure. Which means that, yeah, our ordering was... Wait. I wanted to say our ordering was not great. This sh this is a small pulse, technically, which should be really good against Battle Armor and Protomax. But we don't have it here. Okay, so therefore, I think it was good. Take him out. The Protomax wouldn't be a bad pickup. Mm, I don't think we're gonna get that many parts. But you're not wrong. I like what I see here. Oh, discos are medium. Really? I thought they were small. Thanks for the clarification. Then never mind. The disco pistol is small. The more you know. Okay, we are still waiting for these fools to move around so we can actually actively attack them. The Blood Spirit Strike Team. So it is a clan faction. Which means that their tanks might also be clan tanks. Uh, trying to avoid me. But you know what? There is no escape from the flying mech. Fire Moth. Sure. Okay, Floki. Yeah, there's a back strike. And we'll take it. Maybe we shouldn't. You know, keep some of the stuff alive here. Sentinel. Ah. Ah. What's your armor like? Oh, it's low. Then I guess we go for it. Okay. Let's go Vigilant. And actually try to get the fire moth out. If we get... If we get a hit in, it's most likely falling apart. Because, you know, it's a 20-toner. Come on. Go. 
Got a crit on the engine, got a crit on the peep. He's unsettled. The PPC is actually very pickable. Hey Thor, welcome man. Those tanks must have a decent e uh, ECM. I don't see blue circles though, so I guess no. No more backstrikes. So we go in like that. What can we hit? Is there anything? Polemos 20% is the best we have. Let's go in with a high explosive. Even if we don't hit correctly, we get a bit of splash. I'll take it back. Both Disco Pistol and Disco Laser are technically medium chem laser based. Nice to know. Thank you. All right, then. Here we go. Yes. Very good. So we go for the Sentinel, because that's where we have a hit chance. Should have gone with Vigilance, so that our return fire, or the return damage that we receive is a bit less. Swordsman. <laughs> it's not even worth the animation, buddy. You have an LRM-5, and you have no hit chance. Stop it. SRMs. I mean, yeah. I could go in the back of the Fire Moth. Or... Or I just break my weapon systems. And go down here. Let's try. 33%, but it might be enough. Ah, it was an Ultra Auto Cannon 5. Yeah, I was thinking about something 10 rated on a Sentinel, which kind of is an Ultra 5. It's up. It adds up. Alrighty then. So, the PPC is crit, you say. Let's play with our food a little bit. I want to get this guy down down. So let's go. Nice. What do we do with the tanks? I don't know yet. I'm not really endangered of the fire moth hitting us hard. But let's see. Disco laser can only go for a side attack here. Hmm. Ah, fair enough. 30% chance, 30% chance. <laughs> it's kind of bad. Wait, doesn't you... Doesn't he have the... Sen Somebody has the sensor lock ability. I think it's monster. Gotta think about it. Okay. Got an arm off and we got some heat on. Spider. Spider with the arc welder. He's really trying to get into melee, but he is not. Hmm. The jump? No. There's a bit of a scary situation here because we might hit our friend. But it's only a tank, so let's go. And down goes the fire moth. It was an epic burn, you're not worth the animation. I mean, it's true. Come on, let's be real. Okay. An actual hit was the last high explosive, but we still have faint and we still have regular Thunderbolt ammo. Now for the enemy's turn. What do you have? Svantovit. Those were some light auto cannons, correct? Huh. Disco lasers? I mean, the party truck is a bit hit. But only a bit. I am actually a little bit scared of the Polemos because he might go into the back of our squad and get some damage in. But he doesn't do anything. <laughs> Let the spider catch the moth. What an epic thing that would be, huh? Alright. End it. Since he didn't move, we're gonna go for it. Oh, it's a machine gun and a mortar. <sighs> Ooh, Clan Mortar, you say? That's pretty efficient. 
We could use that for some... Hmm. I was about to say some flare and uh, smoke action, but we already have that on our friend, the Bradford. So we don't really have to worry about that. Down. Down. Good. Let's get out of here. No, there's another drop still. Ugh, 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 ugh. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, let's go ahead and move. Let's get some more team cohesion. Let's just brace. Really? Where's the evac even? There's no evac. Alright, so we just have to hold here. I guess. Fair enough. Swordsman and our Bradford. It's not that we are running out of ammo or resources, but hey. So the Wang is the last. <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, old clunker. Thank you, man, for the follow. Let's see. Was watching the eclipse here in the US, been following your game along and forgot to say hello. Smoke, thank you, man. How was the eclipse? Was it good? Wait, 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 where's the drop? Uh, oh, there it is. Hmm. That's fine, we have another street that we can go down. Can I bother you with a small MacWarrior Online question? Of course. As someone who does not plan to ever spend real money on MechWarrior Online, what free hero mech do you think is worth picking to get the most out of it? It's always a tough question to answer because I don't know what your playstyle, what your preferred weapon systems and what your preferred weight class is. Can you give me some information? The best hero mech. Hmm. This is a real tough question to answer, man. Honestly, I liked the Slatenia a lot. I do like the Kraken. If you're into Atlas, go for Kraken. That thing is massive. Has a lot of armor and very good uh, hardpoint distribution. The answer is always Hellbringer. Not in that case, I'd say. Not in that case. It's really hard to tell, man. The Legend Killer Rifleman, you're not wrong. This thing is okay. It's good. But what is the best? Can you even say that? What do we have here? Enforcer. Oh, ERP LBX. Suspicious Cargo again. Oh, we've got to stay away from him. Alright. So this should technically be the last drop, huh? Huh? Let's wait it out. Preserve it. The most expensive ones are the assault, so you would save the most money by going big on those. Mm. But is it best? It also really depends on what you have in your roster already. My favorite weapon is uh, the large X Pulse and the Rock 5s. I love face down enemies uh, like heavies and assault mags. I already own the Kraken. Okay, because some real nice view of yours gifted a uh, Solaris 7 pack to me. That way I also have a nice Dow Breaker. I also own the Corsair. Um, my grammar sucks. Sorry, Pff, I don't care. Um, it doesn't even so much. Um, hmm. So it seems like you like the big boys, like heavies and assaults. Honestly, Catapult K2 is pretty good uh, in my books. Wait, K2 is not even a... Uh, forget it. We are we are thinking about heroes here. Um, Party Sound is cool. Uh, the Top Dog is a, a pulse... Could be a pulse laser mech, yeah, but... Mm, maybe the Fafnir? We're, we're thinking about hero max. The Fafnir in general is alright. But the hero doesn't really bring that much new to the table. Something tanky in the medium mag range. 
I don't think that the crab is worth it. The Florentine is not good. Uh-uh. Shadowhawk is probably also not the, the greatest hero mech. Um, the Vindicator is fine, but not great. I mean, I'm thinking about Inner Sphere heroes right now, mostly. Because with the clans, you only, only quote-unquote, get the Omni parts. Mostly. The Hellfire Void is nice, but it's not really the Rux. I mean, if you say X-Pulses and Rux, you are bound to Inner Sphere then, right? Virago is okay. I mean, it's a Hellbringer. If you want a free Hellbringer, get the Virago and then build upon it. Sure. Hellbringer is a fantastic mech. If you don't have a Hellbringer yet, you can just shortcut into Virago and you have a Hellbringer. Ultraviolet. Wait, Moonwalker is a legendary, correct? It's not a... Oh, the Death Strike is fantastic. Take the Death Strike if you like mobile assault mechs. The Moonwalker is a legendary, if I remember correctly, but the Death Strike is the hero, Mad Cat Mark II, and that thing is just good. Like, really good, hands down. You can build a lot of different things with it. Mostly... Gauss and lasers. You can also go Ultra Auto Cannons and lasers. The Archer Tempest is also pretty good, yes, yeah, that works. Uh, the Bounty Hunter Marauder is really good, yeah. Wait, you can take the Moonwalker? Interesting. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and also play the game here, shall we? Welcome. Welcome. I want to go for the Enforcer first, because that thing is nasty. With the LBX and the PPC, it can deal a lot of damage to us. Do you like the Moonwalker? I actually have not even taken a look at it, but it's a Mad Cave Mark II. I don't think it's bad. We can quickly check it out. Actually, let's let's do it right now. Flare it up. Give me a sec. Welcome. Give me a sec. So this is the Mech DB, Mech Nav Alpha. Uh, check it out. I'm gonna drop it in both chats. Very good uh, database where you can browse mechs and equipment and everything else. We go down to Assault. We go to uh, Mad Cat Mark II. Dead oh, by the way, if you really like close combat, close quarter combat, the Scorch, the Marauder 2C. Oh, that thing is really good. You can also outfit it with um, ATMs instead of SRMs. So Dead what's the Moonwalker the like? Oh, God. Things are escalating here. <laughs> Conquer Lord Resub, thank you for the 25 months. And then Captain Nerp. Captain Nerp. Gifting 10 subs to the community. Twitch.tv user notice hashtag Baragil. Thank you, man. Amazing. Alright, we'll check this guy out. It doesn't have any quirks except for reverse speed plus 30. Uh, but yeah, you can do a lot with this guy. This is a Ducker machine. It's fantastic. So if you can Dead get the Moonwalker, you can, you can do some great things with it. I think the good old double ultra five, double ultra ten build still works on this dude. What's the what's the what's the stock loadout? Lots of ultra twos. Sure. I mean even that. Look at those hard points. It's not bad. Yeah. This thing is honestly, if you can get the moonwalker, there is absolutely nothing wrong with it because it also has missile hard points, makes it a very versatile guy to play around with. Uh, that means you have a lot of different approaches towards. Uh, Builds and ideas. Data transfer complete. You are escalating now. Holy crap. <laughs> so again, 10 subs coming from Captain Nayarp. Uh, and then there is another Landsmaid membership coming from Nicholas Lindberg. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you very much and welcome to the club. And then AMC Jeep MJ also dropped another data transfer. Thank you, man. Boop. Boop. Wrong overlay. Let's go over here. Yo, guys, you are amazing. Thank you. And now for something completely different. Kaiju? Nah. The Ultraviolet is also goodish if you can manage the low speed and the big boxy nature of the mech. Yomungandha, finally! 
Finally, we have somebody saying the real thing. <laughs> Would an ECM make me better? Yeah, maybe. Sure. It's all right. That's a definite maybe. Tank didn't move. Break tank? Yeah. Let's take him down. Plus minus. It's... It's really hard to answer. That's what I can tell you. There are pros and cons. But you know what? If you intend to not spend any money on MechWarrior Online and you want a very good ECM, you can get a Hellbringer with just money. With, like, just C-Builds. But not real money, just C-Builds. Hellbringer is amazing. Get in flank, deal only two damage. No. Move forward, have low hit chance, but deal five damage. That's how we do it here. And maybe even get the kill because he's open already. Hmm. Ammo explosion. But the tank is... Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Good. Uh, the prime is good. Yeah. Hellbringer prime is where it is. I mean the one with the ECM in there. What is it? Head components? Inside house a component. Just get that one. I think it is the prime. Okay. Um, uh, let us go here because we have the most uh, possible targets. I try to overheat the enforcer. Uh, actually, the bandit is the one with the suspicious cargo. Why did they remove the extra damage for vehicles from the Inferno missiles? It's bad. I need to relearn. I need to rethink now. Oh. Uh, tank is very unimpressed. Very unimpressed. Okay. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the cargo. Uh, let's go for it then. This guy has to go quickly. Yes, I'm getting close, but I believe we can kill. That's a very strong maybe. Oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, there's still a lot of stuff there. We have our flyer, who can go for a kick attack, though. <laughs> okay, LRMs. Let's do it. Fire away, my friend. Sight is open. We have the tank. Okay. All righty then. Hmm. Let me try something. <laughs> I want to go for a kick and just a back strike against the enforcer. Is the kick necessary? I don't think so, but it's funny. Let's do it. See, we dealt a lot of damage to the leg, but our goal is to break his back. And? And? <laughs> uh, yeah, we got caught in the blast, but so was the javelin. Oh no. No! Rip. We not only lost one of our most impactful max that we had, but also the pilot to go with it. He was a good guy. Filaroni, why do I feel a big boom going to happen? Oh, I called a big boom. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Oh my god! Why though? Why are you doing this to me, game? Oh, let's get out of here. <laughs>
<laughs> RNG says giveth and taketh. Ay, 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 ay. Get him. Oh, we need to make up for it with loot. It's lagging. Oh, so the game has crashed. No, no, we're gonna deal with the consequences. Another stack pole, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. It is the mercenary's life. I'm not gonna save scum this one. Let's wrap it up. Yeah. Mission successful. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Oof. Oofy poof. Okay. Welcome. Rock take gives and rock take takes. That's right. Ha. Yeah. Good mech. At the same time, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't even mind that much because we have some very good other options. That means we can bring... What else? What else can we bring? We have an... Ur no, we have an urban mech lying around. Ugh. Um... Yeah, it's, it's mech picking time again, I'd say. So let's see if we can somehow... Somehow get him. What happened here, exactly? I think our ammo cooked, correct? Yeah. I think the streak LRM ammo cooked off and then blew us apart. Is this thing volatile? No. Welcome. There was a lot of good stuff in there. No, ah, rip. Okay. I give you bandit. Which is fine. I'll do it. I will take engine core, vehicle flamers, and so on. I will accept uh, mostly for the reputation. That's what we are here for. <laughs> Thank you for the follows, guys. What did you just do? I was attacking an enforcer from behind. That thing blew up and it produced so much heat around him that my ammo cooked. We did lose the disco gun. Yes, correct. Fire moth is in the house. Clan Endo and Pharaoh. Control systems. Uh, we get a mask. Worth it. Probably. Just for the Endo and Pharaoh. Four light machine guns, two SRM6s, and a vehicle flamer. It's actually pickable. Wait. We got two raiders? Oh yeah, we did. We had two of them. Okay, right. Reinforced legs, Mark III. 45% extra armor. Hmm. That's the saw. Let me take a look at this. Uh, it is a 35 ton handheld item... A 35 damage handheld item, negative accuracy... Not worth thinking about it. Also, an amazing amount of Rock 2 ammo. Different types, even. Integrated searchlight. No, thank you. LB10. Light machine guns. Clan mortar. Not opposed to these either streaks or regular SRMs. Heat bank. Mm, it's okay. It's a bit of cooling. Slick Sweet is fine. Supercharger is a thing that we don't need. More Ferro. Identify sensor. Hmm. Plus 5 to sensor identification. Breaching fire control system. Ugh, this is all kind of bad. Alright, so I'll, I'll take the fire moth. Because that thing provides the Ferro and uh, Endo. And what then? Also, Thor, thank you for the tier one. Thank you, man. Case sounds good? Never. Never. No, the problem is uh, Case wouldn't have prevented the kill because uh, we had that XL on the side also, and it would have blown up anyways. I could take the Mortars or the SRMs. Again, Heat Bank is fine. Negative 10 Heat per turn is pretty good. Du -du 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 -du. Looking for SRM ammo? There's no clan SRM ammo here, only streak SRM ammo. Mm. Or we take the LBX with us. With ammo. 
or the heat bank plus, I don't know, an engine. It's a hard choice. We don't have any good mech that can run the LBX. What is the vehicle flamers deal? Needs ammo. I'll take the heat bank. And we have one more pick. Uh wait, wait there was uh, there was there was there was Pharaoh, Clan Pharaoh. Let's go Clan Pharaoh. That's that's good. Yeah, it's universal, it fits in every mech. Let's go with it. Okay. Click. Click. I did it. Uh, oh, they were disassembling here. Okay. So the good news is... Our mech was not on the table. That means we're gonna re-salvage it. We only lost the pilot, but... The Juanita is... Very damaged now, and we need a lot of lamb items to make it uh, battle ready again. The clan SRM is fantastic, but no ammo. Yeah, supercharger for the monies. We don't have a bottleneck on the money right now, so I'm gonna pick stuff that is just good for building. But yeah, guys, mm, it looks like we have reached the end of the stream for tonight. We will take a look at how damaged our friend is and if we can actually keep that thing. But uh, I want to already say thank you to you guys watching today and uh, thank you for all the special people uh, helping me out with subs and, and donations and memberships and all of that. So big thumbs up to you, the supporters, the big ones here. Uh, and also to everybody else because without you again, I wouldn't be here. So, oh no, you just joined Ghoul. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I hope you have a rest, uh, a great rest of the day, of the week, and um, I hope you enjoyed the eclipse. Let me take a look at this here. Get the the moth. 435,000. It's quite a lot. Floki has died. But we gotta keep the one -ader. At the very least. At the very least. All right. So, my friends, let's go to Twitch TV. See if there's anybody here. Look at this guy. Look at this guy playing MechWarrior Online. Say hi to Phil, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Goodbye. Ooh, let's get out of here.